Hi. So far, I've shown you the different ways of creating tickets. In this module, I'll show you how the different ways you have of managing your tickets. Let's begin by logging into Komodo One. Click on the Applications tab and click back on Service Desk. You can take many actions using the buttons at the top of the Open Tickets list. There are a number of viewing options, including how many records to display on a page and customizing columns. At a glance, you can see the tickets on this page have a small picture next to the ticket number. This is an easy way to see how the ticket was raised, either by email, web phone, phone, web form, etc. The tickets menu on the left contains different filters and links. Here is a summary of each. Open. Assigned and answered tickets may be excluded from this view in ticket settings and options for more details. Open tickets can be answered, transferred, reassigned, and more by clicking on the ticket number subject. Answered. Tickets for which there has been at least one reply. Answered tickets can be reviewed, reassigned, transferred, and more by clicking on the ticket number or subject. Unassigned. Tickets that have not yet been assigned. Administrators can assign tickets to staff members by clicking the ticket number slash subject, then clicking the Assign Ticket tab. My Tickets. Tickets that are assigned to the person that is currently logged in. Tickets can be answered, reassigned, transferred, provide, provide details of time spent for the ticket, and more by clicking on the ticket number slash subject. Overdue. Tickets that are not closed within the stipulated period per the SLA plan. Overdue tickets will be closed automatically if set in the Ticket Settings and Options interface. Closed. Tickets that are closed. Closed tickets can be reviewed, reopened, reassigned, and more by clicking the ticket number or subject. Paused. Tickets that are paused temporarily. Paused tickets count as open and can be reactivated by clicking the ticket number or subject, then clicking the Resume button. New Ticket allows the currently logged in staff member or administrator to raise a ticket on behalf of the user. Refer to the explanation number under creating a new ticket on behalf of a user. Materials allows the currently logged in staff member or administrator to view the details of material costs and other expense items added to the tickets by him slash her with their approval status. Refer to the explanation under viewing details of material slash expense items added to tickets for more details. Bulk assignment of tickets to a staff member allows you to select and assign multiple tickets to a specific staff member without necessarily opening the tickets. For number of records to display on the page, simply click the drop box and select the amount you want. To customize columns, click on the Customize Columns button. Here you will see all the available ticket table columns available. By default, a number of them will already be selected and certain ones, like Ticket, Priority, and Subject, will be checked and grayed out. These are mandatory and cannot be changed, but the others are up to you. For example, if you wanted to sort the tickets by due date, you can check Due Date and press Save. This field now appears on the Open Tickets page. You can also customize to show more columns, such as Overdue, Close By, and Status. Advanced Search allows you to search through many different fields, this is helpful when you have a lot of records. For example, let's say you wanted to locate all overdue tickets assigned to a particular member of a staff. You can do this by clicking on the drop box under Status, then select Overdue. Then scroll further down and click on Dropbox under Assign to that member of staff. There are also a number of other parameters you can search by, such as checkboxing ticket sources, priority level, asset type, category, org type, departments, and so on. Once you have selected your criteria, click on the green search button. You will get a notification message within the advanced ticket search box with the number of tickets matched to that criteria. To see the results, click on the view hyperlink and you will be taken to a page displaying the tickets. You can also manually mark a ticket as overdue, delete, or close it. For example, to mark a ticket as overdue, simply click the checkbox next to the left of the ticket or tickets in question and click the Mark Overdue button above the ticket list. A confirmation email will pop up. 
click yes, do it. Then this then moves the ticket into the overdue link on the left tab. Other things that can be managed from this task list include the assignment of tickets to admins and techs within your firm. For example, you can check one or multiple checkboxes, then click on the Assign button. This will then display the Assigned Tickets box. From the drop-down, you can select a user to assign to or reassign to another user if there already is a user assigned to that ticket. Once done, click the Save button. This will then move the ticket to that user's My Tickets page, which can be accessed on the left app panel. A user can also export a list of tickets to CSV. All they need to do is click a ticket section under Tickets on the left panel, click on the Export to CSV button, and this will download it. Starting at the Admin panel, go to the Staff tab, then go to Settings, then Tickets. You'll see the global ticket settings and options. For now, leave the default settings, but this gives you an idea of the customizations you can do within the platform. The mandatory fields are default SLA, priority and asset type, and change interval, which is your time standard for billing clients. The default is one minute. You can learn about this page in greater detail after you learn the basics of the platform. In this module, we've shown you the different ways you have of managing your tickets. Now take the quiz, then we'll move on to the next module to show you how to use different rules and workflows within it.